feminism. We just can't seem to get away from it. And if you weren't aware, according to feminists, coronavirus is sexist now. And no, it's not because it's killing more men than women, but because women are being more adversely affected. Because apparently they still have to do housework. And according to CNN and a new article, apparently the economic consequences of the pandemic are harsher for women. Harsher than death? Yes, it appears that way. Since the coronavirus pandemic kicked off, it didn't take very long at all for the same feminist voices to tell us just how hard women have it during this time. Much harder than men, of course. Never mind that we're finally learning just how many men have died and committed suicide as a result of this. That's an inconvenient tidbit in this competition of which sex has it worse. Speaking of the competition, you might remember such episodes as Coronavirus isn't killing men fast enough. Trump's coronavirus task force isn't diverse enough, coronavirus is a disaster for feminism, and the latest and my personal favorite, coronavirus is killing more men, but the lockdown is disastrous for women and their rights. What? The prevailing argument that CNN has yet again highlighted is that although men are considerably much more likely to contract and die from the virus itself, Women are more likely to be hit financially through job loss, being single parents, and making up the majority of health workers who are paid less than their male counterparts on the whole. About the only thing this article says that makes any sense is that lockdowns have escalated domestic violence situations. But again, despite what the prevailing feminist narrative might tell you, this isn't even a gendered issue. More and more research is demonstrating that women are just as violent in the home as their male counterparts, and men are just as likely to be victims of domestic violence as their female counterparts. But nice try, CNN. But maybe the weirdest part about all of this is that this article tries to claim that the pandemic has also presented some world leaders with an opportunity to grab more power, sparking fears among women's rights activists and researchers. Yes, interesting concern, considering that one of the worst mini-dictators right now in the United States is the governor of Michigan who happens to be a woman. Now, I'm a reasonable person. I'm willing to give feminism and feminists an inch whenever they actually make a good point. But trying to make a pandemic all about them and all about women's rights is some of the dumbest stuff I've ever seen. The fact of the matter is, there will always be things that uniquely affect women and uniquely affect men in any given situation. But to make this one all about how women have it so much worse is not only completely bizarre, but also really unhelpful. Because I'm pretty sure that loss of life means you're not having the easiest time, you know? Men aren't just losing their lives, they're losing their jobs, their income, their houses, their livelihoods, they're becoming unable to support their families, they're becoming homeless, they're committing suicide, they're developing substance abuse problems. But these significant issues are routinely overlooked in favor of complaining about how much harder women have it. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying for a second that women aren't experiencing hardship and financial instability and general instability during this time. Of course they are, but this isn't a competition. And it's so bizarre to me how these outlets and journalists and the media keep making it one. A lot of people are having a hard time right now and coronavirus has raised so many different problems for different people. But there is absolutely no room in a pandemic for victimhood propaganda and feminist narratives and competitions of who has it worse.